Hey guys, Joe here from Xbox Games, and we do have the Adventure Force Ranger here. Now, I watched a recent review from Dr. Flux, and I was like, okay, I, I mean, I've seen this at my local Walmart, but I was like, ah, I just don't want to get it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But then watching his video, I was like, hmm, you know what? We could definitely upgrade this thing. And for sure, I mean, there is a lot you can do with it, like the spring. When you guys open this up, the spring is easily accessible. I don't know what you can put in here, but I'm pretty sure you can put some pretty powerful springs in there. And I do envision somebody redoing the whole cylinder and everything on this, but the cylinder is actually kind of built into the plunger system. So you got to redo a lot of stuff in there, but I envision somebody is going to do it so there can be a better seal back here. And I was like, you know what? This would be awesome if I can make these shoot something different than balls. And this by default shot around about 70 to 80 FPS because of the seal back here is really inconsistent. So I was like, let me make something where I can just throw it in their shells, no cutting, no gluing, just throw it in there and have you be able to kind of swap in between games based upon what type of game you're coming up with, right? During a lot of my games, uh, some games people run more shields than other games. So maybe I want to run all inlines or maybe I want to run the megas. So what I did is I created currently two different barrel types. One is going to be the mega and disregard the color. There's going to be different colors, but the megas, uh, you just basically just put it in there and you're going to notice there's two little grooves in here where you just kind of line it up with those slots that go down the side and push it in. Boom, done. And maybe you want to run two megas or maybe you want to run a mega and two inlines. So we do the same thing, push it down, push it in, push it down, push it in, and there you go. So you got two inlines that hold three darts each and a mega, or maybe you wanna run two mega and whatever. I mean, again, completely up to, and everything works is normal. So you pull it down and we'll shoot the, shoot the mega out of here. And it shoots really good, roughly about 60 to 65 FPS, which is, I mean, pretty good. And then the inlines, I don't have any, let me throw a couple darts in here, guys. Then the inlines work like a normal inline clip. You pull it, it rotates. Sometimes you don't have to give it the downward flip, but you shoot it, rotates the other one, you shoot it and you go. Those are roughly shooting about 80 to 90 FPS. I envision I can get this thing up to about 120 if we did improve the seal back here and made a new cylinder. But that's pretty much it guys. We got these new cylinders, which are awesome, which again, are mega, just swap in. And then we got the inlines, which you just drop on in. So maybe it's a game where there's a lot of shield. So I'll throw that out and we'll throw another mega in here. And boom, you're ready to rock and roll. So now you got an inline and a mega. And remember, you can adjust this, right? So you could always just twist this as needed. You don't have to go by where the current state is on the turn, right? So you don't have to go with that. Maybe you're like, oh, I got to get to that inline. Okay, no problem. Let's go back and let's go and shoot. But yeah, these will be on our Etsy store. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of shooting just here right after I get done talking so you guys can kind of see. But yeah, these are awesome. A nice little upgrade, hot swappable so you can pick and choose what you want to do. But I think the Megas are freaking awesome. Personally, um, I would run three Megas in here. That is just my thing. And again, we're going to have a bunch of different colors, but maybe out of the gate, we might just have orange. We will see. But yeah, they work absolutely great. Or maybe you want to run three inlines. I mean, as a secondary, you just want to throw three inlines. I think personally, I would run two inlines and the mega. Just so you have the mega hand, you never know, right? But if no one is running shields, oh, these are kind of hard to pull out. If no one is running shields, perfect. Boom, we got three inlines now with nine darts. Um, I tried a fourth dart, but you tended to lose a little bit of FPS because of how long it was. But with three, that's perfect. It worked absolutely great. So there you go. There is our upgrade for this. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just kind of curious on what you guys think about this or if you guys have ideas or suggestions. Let's hop over to the shooting. All right, let's do a quick shooting video here. I have two megas and an inline. Probably the best bet is either to go all inline or two inlines and a mega, but this is just a configuration I got here. We'll switch it up in a little bit. So let's go. You can see, shot it pretty hard. You guys can see the FPS, FPS is there. Ooh. Comes the inline. All right, so now I have uh, two inlines and a mega. So just like with any inline, oop, just like with any inline, you want to give that downward flick. And of course, when you have the mega, you can either go like that or you can rotate it with your hand, whatever is easiest. There you go. 